10.6. Okay, it says, what is the standard form equation of an ellipse with vertices 1, 6, and 1, 16, and one focus at 1, 1, 14? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is draw a picture. And draw how you think the ellipse is going to look like. 1, 6 is the vertex, 1, 16 is also a vertex, and 1, 14 is the focus. All right, so where is the major axis? Is it along the Y or along the X? Hmm? Y. Yes, it is along the Y axis, but I the Y direction, but why? Yes, that's be, because we're, that's where the vertices are. Can you guys figure out where the center is now? Is that been awake? Can you figure out where the center is? Somewhere halfway, right? Like right here? Yeah? Okay, so that coordinate is 1, 11. How would you be able to find that if you didn't draw a picture? Look, uh, so we, what you want to do is look at the vertices. It goes 1, 6, 1, 16. So obviously one is not changing, so H has to uh, be one, right? K, what you want to do if you want to take shortcuts is you just take six plus 16 and divide by two. So 22 divided by two. 22 divided by two, that is 11. So 11 is where K is. Okay, so if you don't want to draw a picture, this is what you would do. You kind of analyze it like, hmm, which one's not changing? That's the part that's not going to change. The other part I added together, divide by 2. All right, so HK is going to be 1, 11. A, B, C. Where is A? How, oh, sorry, how long is A? How long is from the center to one of the vertex? Five. Five. Um, do we know B? No. no. How long is C? Three. Three. Okay, what's the C squared equation for an ellipse? A squared minus? Yes, A squared minus B squared. Okay, so for those of you who can't memorize that, so someone uh, in the past, uh, another student said the way she memorized it was if the it's an ellipse equation ellipse equation is always plus so then she just remember it's always the opposite sign so hyperbola is always minus in between so then the c square equation is a plus so that's how she memorized it and i, I thought that was pretty good okay so um c is three so it's uh, nine equals 25 minus b squared so that is minus 16 equals minus b squared. So b is 4. OK, this is an ellipse. So let's think about it. Mm, what is an, the ellipse equation? What's the ellipse equation? If you're not sure, look at your notes x minus h squared over, uh, okay, let's not do the over yet because we can't figure out which one it is yet. Okay, plus y minus k squared equals one. Okay, now who has a squared? The y, because that's where the vertex is or the longer one. Okay, so a squared, and then this is b squared. So now at this time, you should plug in all the numbers. x minus 1 squared over 16 plus y minus 11 over 25 equals 1. Uh, 
All right, so we can finish sketching this so that it looks better. So it goes four to the right, four to the left. And it looks like this. What questions do you have? Or do you think you can do this on your own for the next one? You guys wanna give it a try? All right, let's give it a try. So this next one, the vertices are kind of big. You may want to graph every two. All right, so this one, HK is 12, 3. A is 10, B is 8, and C is 6. So this is going to be X minus 12 squared over 100 plus y minus three squared over 64 equals one. Okay, I'm not gonna sketch this one because I'm pretty sure you did already. Any questions on this before we go to hyperbola? All right, hyperbola. All right, let's have you write down HK, ABC first. Please be careful of your HK. All right, HK, please um, be careful. It's three, one, not one, three. It's not whatever is first. It's whatever is on uh, X, sorry, X. Um, A is five, B is 12. So then we do C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So C squared is 25 plus 144, which is 169. So C is 13. All right, this is a little bit tricky. All right, I'm gonna oh, try to graph this. Okay, three, one is the center. Which direction will this hyperbola open? Show me with your arms. Which direction will the hyperbola open? Left and right or up and down? People here are not voting at all. <laughs> Everyone's like waving. Yes, up and down. Because Y comes first. Okay, so we know it's gonna go up five, down five. Okay, and then uh, we actually wanna graph this hyperbola entirely, so we want to um, draw our asymptote. That has to do with the box, right? So starting from the vertex, we wanna go, uh, this one's kinda long, 12 to the right and 12 to the left. Uh, just really big something like here and here and then you want to draw a box okay the, and then the box is gonna go through your vertex you know kind of all the way down and then what you want to do is just draw your diagonals through the corners of the box And that has to go through your center, okay? The origin doesn't matter. It just has to go through that center of your hyperbola. All right. Okay, now what you wanna do is uh, find everything the question asks you to find. So we already found the center. Let's try to find the vertices. Vertices is you start from the center and then you go up and then down, right? That's how you get to the vertices. So if you are really not good at finding these vertices, what um, I would suggest that you do is just write it out. You know you're gonna start from HK, and then you're gonna go up by A, down by A. So then your vertices are H comma K plus minus A. Once you have that equation out, it's easy to substitute in numbers. Okay, so that is three comma uh, one plus minus five. Okay, and that simplifies to three. One plus five is six, three, and then one minus five is minus four. Okay, again, if you are not very good at visualizing it, write out the formula and then substitute in the numbers. Foci. The foci equation would be what? So 
So you start from the center. Do you go up, down to get to full sight, or left and right? Up, uh, <laughs> left and no up and down. Uh, up and down. Okay. So you're moving H or K? K. K. K plus minus what? C. Oh, and then just a reminder. Monday you have a formula quiz. But it should be pretty easy. It's just kind of like this. I give you a, a kind of a you know, semi-graph, and then I say, how do you get to the vertex? How do you get to the full side? What's the equation of the asymptote? Kind of like that. So everything is in terms of H, K, A, B, C. It should be pretty easy. If you can do this, you know, this is, the quiz is no problem. Um, OK, so that is 3, comma, 1 plus or minus. C is 13. So that is 3, comma, 1 plus 13, so 14. And then 3, comma, 1 minus 13 is minus 12. All right, last one. This is the tricky one, asymptote. Talk to your partner, what is the slope? What is the slope? What is the slope? What is the rise over run? What is the slope? Y equals. All right, what is the slope? Is it up B over A, or is it up A over B? A over B, okay? You can see you're gonna go up A over B. So this is gonna be plus minus five over 12. Now, there is an H and K involved in this, so we are going to do X minus 3 and then plus 1. Good? Kind of? Okay, let's have you guys try the next one. H, K, A, B, C. Let me check it before you continue. All right. H, K is... 2, negative 2, A is 6, B is 8, and then C is 10. Vertices are at 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 2. Foci are at 12, negative 2, negative 8, negative 2. And then the asymptotes are at Y equals 2. Please don't forget your Y equals 2. Um, plus minus 4 over 3, x minus 2, minus 2. Okay, so some of you put plus 2. Uh, it is minus 2, it's just k. Okay, not the opposite sign. Okay, the last part we're going to do is complete the square. All right, so they want you to figure out which conic section has this equation. We have to change it into standard form. So we got to complete the square. To complete the square, we're going to take all the x's together, all the y's together, and then add some magic numbers. Okay, so 4x squared is going to go with 24x, and we might as well just add a magic number in there for now. Okay, and then put all the y's together. 6y plus, I'm sorry, y squared comes first. y squared plus 6y plus box, and then we have a plus 9 equals 0. Okay, so all I did was I put all the x's together, and then I put a magic number there. I put all the y's together, I put a magic number there. Eventually, we're going to add some magic number on the other side. All right, now if you look at the x's, uh, there's a leading coefficient, right? We don't want that leading coefficient there. It makes completing the square really hard to do. So what should we do with that for? Take it out. Take it out. So we're going to factor it out. So x squared minus 6x plus box plus y squared plus 6y plus box. OK, I might as well just put that 9 on the other side because I know that's where it needs to go. So I'm going to put a equals minus 9. At this time, I am going to add the magic numbers on the other side. 
Okay, so if I add a magic number here on one side, what should I do to the other side? Add them, right? This one on the x, how many magic numbers am I actually adding? Uh, uh, the number, uh, number is 36, but how many magic numbers? Four, right? Because there's a four in the front, so I'm actually adding four times of, the, of that magic number. So on this side, I gotta add four box. And then from the Y, it's just one box. Okay, what is the magic number for the X part? Nine. All right, so add a nine there. And then for the Ys? Nine. All right, so now we want to factor and simplify. Four X minus three squared plus Y plus three squared equals, and you know this nine and nine cancel, so just 36. Okay, now I want you to talk to your partner. What kind of shape is this one? Is this a circle or is this a ellipse? Okay, talk to your partner. How many people think this is a circle? How many people think this is an ellipse? Ellipse is correct. Oh, okay. How can you tell an ellipse from a circle? By whether it has a coefficient or not. If it has a coefficient, it will not be a regular shape because it's going to be a little longer on one side than the other. So then it's going to turn out to be an ellipse. Okay? If it's a circle, there's no coefficient. It's just perfectly round. Okay, this turns out to be an ellipse. So we're actually going to divide everything by 36. And then now we're in standard form. Okay, so you can see that there's now a den denominator problem, right? They're not the same denominator. Okay, so you're going to figure out A, B, C, D, which one is the correct answer. All right, so we know it's not a circle, so it's one of the ellipses, and they both want full size, so we got to figure out C. All right, A is equal to 6 because this is an ellipse. B is equal to 3, so C, let's see. C squared is equal to 36 minus 9, so that is 27. So square root that, C is equal to square root 27. Simplify that, 3 root 3. 3 root 3 from the center. The center is at 3, negative 3. Well, there's only one that has a square root 3 in there, so B. All right, try another one. Let's complete the square. Okay, once you complete the square, it should look something like this. 4 times x minus 3 halves squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 21. Okay, so you can tell that this is an ellipse. Um, but, uh, and then it has a center at 3 halves and negative 2. If you want to figure out a and b, this is a little bit tricky. You have to divide everything by 21. Okay, the 4 over 21 doesn't actually cancel, so we have a little bit of a problem. We have to force it to go into the denominator. To do that, you have to put the reciprocal in the denominator. So 21 over 4. You take that fraction, the 4 over 21, you flip it around and then put it in the denominator. That way, when you actually simplify, it will go back up to where it should be. Okay, the 21 is the way it is, and then equals 1.